Rich stuff is Charles Gay. Yeah, just in case you ain't heard of me, they told me it was too late. But I promise that I'll be the first to speak. Most of these rappers, they fake. But you can't have your way to St. Berkey. Everybody said it won't be. Till they see smoke, then they realize they'd rather have turkey me. What it do, what it do. It's 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. Say, man, shout out to my audience. Shout out to those that's rocking with me. And yeah, we back in the kitchen. There's a whole lot of goddamn sauce in this pot, man. Let's get to the shit. The prince of Saudi Arabia, um, he claims that, uh, uh, he got the money for Tank versus Devin, uh, uh, okay, so I'm gonna get my thoughts, and I know some, those who listen to me, I know they probably, I know some of y'all are like, uh, yeah, but 903, you just said that the Saudis, they ain't show no interest in black fighters in America, um, so, yeah, I just said that shit a couple of days ago, and now they're offering, uh, Tank versus Dev, and they have the money, um, they got plenty of money. Uh, I'm gonna get to that shit. Uh, matter of fact, let's start with that shit. Um, the Prince of Saudi Arabia, I can't uh, uh, pronounce his name. Uh, he ain't that old though. He pretty young. Uh, he definitely getting money. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He got plenty of money. Don't let that sheet fool you. Yeah, that sheet on the top of his shit. That shit worth millions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that sheet that's on the top of his shit, that shit is worth millions. It's diamonds in that sheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm telling you, boy, we getting a rap money. <laughs> that motherfucker is the DJ Khaled of boxing or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 the DJ Khaled of uh, you might as well tape your shit now and put yeah and and and, and use one of our do rags to lay your shit down, bro. Uh, put you some diamonds on. Yeah, you could be like the Arab Dunn King of Boxing or some shit. Um, yeah, he tied in with some shit. He ain't just got money. You got a lot of other shit. Uh, you definitely got power. Uh, you and Putin fuck around. Yeah, you got him on speed dial. Yeah, you got you got Putin personal number. Um, you fuck with Joe Biden and shit like that. So you very um. You're very friendly and very, uh, yeah, you're very in tune with European uh, leaders, uh, so you folks with them. But anyway, um, you know, I've always wondered, my, my question is, uh, you know, you, you love bringing Europeans uh, to uh, Saudi, you love coming over here to the Western uh, Hemisphere and trying to see what white folks got going and can you get in it, but uh, Africa is right up the street. Uh, they got soccer. They got all kind of shit in Africa. Uh, I just wonder why you ain't bringing no events from Africa to uh, to Arab, to Saudi Arabia, because that's right up the street, and they got fighters over there. I just want to know why you want to come way over here to the Western Hemisphere and all that. There, um, there's plenty of money in Africa, so uh, they got plenty. Like I said, why y'all ain't pulling people from over there? And uh, another thing I want to really point out, uh, you motherfuckers ain't slick, bro. Just like you ain't slick when you come over here and try to sell us that fake-ass jewelry. Uh, you motherfuckers ain't slick, bro. You really ain't got a lot of talent over there, and you trying to use um, European fighters and American fighters as a way to squeeze in some of y'all talent. Why can't y'all just host big main events for y'all fighters? If, if 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 Saudi Arabia is the place for boxing, why it ain't an Arab fighter out of Arab out of Saudi Arabia that everybody know? Why it ain't one that's dominating boxing? Since you motherfuckers so powerful and where y'all fight at is just the place and it's gonna be the mecca of boxing. Well, you y'all, but after a while y'all gonna have a superstar out of there. Matter of fact, it's it's a it's an Arab that's uh, fighting out of the UK. I can't think his name. That motherfucker can fight though, but um. Yes, yeah, plenty of people in Saudi Arabia. All I'm saying is y'all should have been hosting events with just y'all fighters. Show us y'all can fight. Show us y'all can do more than just put money on the table and try to woo us with this shit, bro. Listen, uh, um, 
you know, as crusty as America is, bro, and dusty and hateful as it is, bro, I think America is the place for boxing. Uh, I don't, listen, I ain't with none of that shit. Uh, let me tell you something. I ain't with that back to Africa. Listen, that shit Ali and Foreman did back in the 70s, bro, you could never do that shit now. Nah, nah, nah. That shit they did back in the game. You can't do that shit now, bro. You cannot uh, bring two American black fighters and have a huge event in Africa, bro. Nah, bro. Africa ain't ain't the Africa it was in the 70s. That's all I'm going to say. And at this point, bro, uh, it ain't just white folks running Africa, bro. Chinese are taking over Africa. They buying up land in Africa. They own Jamaica. Um, they own everything that come in and out of Jamaica. That's a fact. Uh, Jam uh, Chinese got dreads in Jamaica and shit. In mind, they they done stole our sauce out there. But anyway, they in China, they in Africa and uh, in South Africa, uh, they speak uh, what's that shit? Mandarin. Mandarin. Yeah, they speaking the the African babies is uh speaking Mandarin in South African schools. So they they buying it up, bro. At this point, bro, uh, Africa ain't black no more. It's for everybody. Africa is really we are the world. We are the children, and that shit there. So. All I'm saying, bro, uh, it's it's harder to, you know, like I said, bro, Africa right up the street and uh, everybody buying it up and you motherfuckers damn near run north of uh, Africa. So, yeah, bring some African events over here to <laughs> A-Rab and like I said, host some just some A-Rab events with A-Rab athlete and let's just see if y'all, because you can't just be trying to say you the Mecca of boxing and y'all ain't got no real fighters over there. Nah, nah, hold some all A-Rab cards and show me you motherfuckers can sell. I want to see the pay-per-view numbers, and I want to see if it's real talent out there. Yeah, before we get to the crunk and get the flying over there and shit, bro. And another thing, like I said, y'all supposed to be devout Muslims. Uh, I just didn't think uh, with praying five times a day, you have time for boxing, bro. That's just my opinion. I never thought that if you got to pay pray five times a day, bro, you really don't have enough time to be uh, having business meetings about boxing. You already won with other countries. You got bums and shit. It's way too much shit for the prince to be worried about some fucking boxing. That's all I'm saying, bro. With all the military and all the bums and all that shit y'all got, bro, uh, nah. And like I said, you fucking with Putin and shit, bro. Ain't no telling when a war gonna break out out there. So, um, anyway, um, now I think it's um, ain't you know another thing. They finna uh, pay Anthony Joshua fifty million to fight Francis Ngannou, and Francis Ngannou finna make twenty mil. I want to say Francis Ngannou made eight mil to fight Fatback Fury, so he going from eight mil to twenty mil. And like I said, even though I thought he won, the decision is you lost. So you go from losing, making eight mil. After a loss to now, Anthony Joshua gives you an opportunity, and now you making twenty mil, and he making fifty mil. <laughs> Boxing funny, bro. Boxing funny. Eddie Hearn slick. Eddie Hearn slick. Like I said, uh, Wilder lost horribly, and it was a bad look. But Francis Ngannou lost, according to the scorecards. He lost too. So, um, how do you go from losing? So now you get in a fight and you making 12 more million than what you just made. Boxing is just, it, it's a circus, bro. 50 million. I, I'm just going to be honest. Anthony Joshua is a big star. I got to be honest. And bef especially before the Andy Ruiz shit and the Usyk shit, a uh, Joshua was a top three star in boxing. But also uh, as of now, Anthony Joshua is not a worldwide star like that. They're trying to make it. He's not, bro. He don't sell in America. We don't really give a fuck when he fight. Uh, he sell really in the UK at Wembley. That's what he known for. Selling out Wembley Stadium. Uh, Eubank and uh, <laughs> Connor Big can sell that shit out, bro. All I'm saying is uh, you just really big in the UK, bro. You're not a worldwide attraction to work. 50 mil in a fight. I, I just, I, not with Ngannou. And the reason why I'm saying this is because Ngannou just sold 100,000 pay-per-view buyers. 100,000. So, is you going to offer Devin 50 mil to fight Tank? No, 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 no. If if numbers really don't matter, because Ngannou just sold 100,000 with Fatback Fury. And like I said, I thought the shit might do 2 mil. 
the way UFC say they support their fighters. So it did a hundred thousand, but you paying him twenty mil. So, like I said, I want to see the numbers. I want to know what you offering Tank, and I want to know what you offering Devin. Since you motherfucker, because you got the money, you got the money, you got the bombs, you got you got everything, uh, you got the jury. Anyway, um, if you motherfuckers can offer Anthony Joshua fifty mil to fight Francis and Gano, I think you motherfuckers need to. At this point, uh, Tank, I think he need to uh, make a hundred mil that fight, a hundred mil. And I think Devin Haney need to make 75. Yeah, that's what I think. And I know black. Oh, no, no, think you ain't really. No, as much fake jury, you, as much shit you motherfuckers been selling us, let us get over on you one time. And I think it's a huge fight. I think it's worthy. Yeah, give them 100 mil. Drop the bank on them. Since you motherfuckers want our shit so much because that is two American, black American fighters and the fight should be in America. If you motherfuckers want it over there so bad and you finna give Usyk and Fatback Fury all this money and none of them got numbers to prove that they even worth that, then you motherfuckers need to give Tank a uh, hundred mil. He, he coming out for 1.2 million pay-per-view buys. Ain't no other heavyweight been doing them, them kind of numbers. So, all from a hundred mil. All from a hundred mil Give a uh, uh, Devin by seventy five or eighty or some shit like that, and yeah, since you since you want it so bad, because that's the biggest fight in boxing. And let me get out the A rap because you know, like I said, bro, y'all y'all ain't y'all ain't devoted to uh, Ally like you used to be. Uh, I'm telling you, bro, uh, you motherfuckers need to concentrate a little bit more on Ally and the Quran and Muhammad now, bro. Y'all in y'all in too many folks' business. You know, America ain't never liked you. <laughs> anyway, let me get off. Uh, Tank, uh, I got to be honest. Uh, as much as I say this is the biggest fight in boxing, uh, the truth is, uh, it is, but it ain't. It is, though. I feel like it's all about who entertain it. Instead of fans entertaining it, um, we start... Uh, uh, crying and pleading for uh, our fighter we start pleading and, and just it becomes a debate rather than man we just want to see that fight you know like Bill, Bill and better be we just want to see the fight it ain't no a side ain't no none of that shit it ain't no nothing it ain't no arguments none of that shit the coaches ain't beefing like coach calvin and bill haney is it ain't none of that shit it's a bunch of woulda coulda and hypothetically opposed and shit uh when it comes to Devin and tank it's so much mess that it's no promotion. That that, and I think it's the fans more than anybody. Tank fans care way more about saying David Haney just don't sell and he ain't shit and he ain't got a chin. And David Haney's uh, fans care way more about saying Tank just fight Mexicans. So it's more about that than just saying, "Hey, bro, let's make this fight happen. Let's make this shit happen, bro." No, it ain't no shit like that. It's a um. It's just like battle rap, bro. I used to love battle rap, but at this point, it gets disgusting sometimes. Because you can never hear the... These motherfuckers can't finish their flow because somebody in the other clip... They got 50 motherfuckers on stage. And it be the it be the hype dudes, the, the little gangsters on the side that's trying to fight and do all the shit. The rappers just trying to rap. Yeah, it be, it be them sideline motherfuckers that be way more crunk and way more... You can't even hear the dude rap. But anyway... And that's, that's, that's what's going on with this. It's making it a hard time to even make this fight officially realistic. It's not realistic yet. Because we're still saying what if and what it could have. Like I said, bro, I got I got to give Tank credit. One thing I won't say, Tank ain't scared of no TV, bro. Tank ain't scared of no fighter in boxing. I, I'm not going to fall into that shit. I'm not going to fall into none of that shit. I don't believe it. I'm, I, I'm not going to promote that shit. I don't think he's scared. I, I just think he do weird shit and he just you know like I said if it was in a, if in a way it was at 130 the tank would go down and he'd be so excited he would promote it he would gladly promote it just like he gladly promoted the Ryan fight soon as Ryan called him out he promoted that shit from that day on and you just don't you just don't do it with Devin cause you don't like him now it, it ain't that tank don't want to promote the fight you don't like him so you like fuck I ain't giving you no shine fuck you bro you a bum like but he ain't scared to fight him. He just won't promote the fight. This fight completely depends on... I'm just going to keep it real, bro. And it ain't me choosing Dev inside. If Tank fans... Tank fans could change this whole fight. Tank fans and Tank. 
Tank is the reason why this fight is... Well, I'm not going to say it like... They both the reason why it's the biggest fight in boxing. But if Tank entertain this fight, it immediately becomes the biggest fight in boxing. Because Tank will tweet. And every time Devin say something, Tank going to tweet about it. Tank watch Devin. He watch her real close. He watch every movie. Every little step I take. He watch him and they watch each other. I'm telling you, bro, they, they watch each other very closely. And Tank always got some shit to tweet. But if he really start promoting this fight, if he go on hot boxing with Mike Tyson, if he go on some of these, if he pull up on first tape, hey, man, uh, yeah, Devin, what's up? Let's make this fight happen. Man, that fight, if Tank, if Tank promote that fight and if he entertain it without saying you cap, without saying you fake, I'm a, you got a glass job. If Tank just say, man, this is the biggest fight, and he, he, uh, he, uh, if he acknowledge that shit, that's my biggest problem with Tank. It ain't that he's scared of death. You won't acknowledge that this is the fight. Tank, and I'm going to tell you, in my opinion, there's no fight Tank want more than Devin, ain't it, bro? Tank want to shut Devin up. He want to shut Bill up. Tank really, because he know, bro, Devin got a big fan base. And most, man, fans, it's fans that ain't even Tank fans that don't like Devin Haney fans. Because Devin got a fan base. That's one thing people cannot deny. And they want to shut Devin fans up. Tank want to shut all that shit up, in my opinion. There is nobody he want to fight more. Outside of Inouye, because he said that's a dream fight. Outside of Inouye, there is no fighter that Tank want more than Devin Haney. In my opinion. Hands down, that's the fight he want, bro. That is the fight he want. I believe that shit. I believe that shit. I just think that... Um, it's too much of a rap beef. I think Leonard Ellaby, I think Coach Calvin, I think Floyd, I just think they don't want to make that fight. They don't want to entertain it. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to make that fight, bro. And I think he, Tank would literally, Tank would have to do what Earl did. But even more so, Earl went completely against the grain to make that fight and make sure they had a 10 million uh, guarantee, which it should have been more than that. But uh, <laughs> Earl did go, go against the grain. Espinosa and them did not want to make the Terrence Crawford fight. They said the numbers wasn't right. And Terrence Crawford ain't realistic with, with numbers. He's, he's not worth much. This fight ain't big as y'all think. <laughs> so shit. Tank gonna have to say fuck that. And uh, Tank need to get out of that contract. You gotta get out of that contract, bro. You need to be like uh, where, the, where you can go to any promotion and fight at any time. You that big. Tank is big enough where he don't need to be tied down to no. You need to be GTD and yeah, I come over here to top rank for a fight. I might go to a match room for a fight, but you motherfuckers gonna pay me. You gonna pay big time, but you need to do that, bro. You big enough to where you don't need Floyd no more. You don't need Leonard Ellaby. Leonard Ellaby is in the way, bro. You talking about somebody that's just in the way? He in the way, bro. And Coach Calvin. Kenny Ellis, bro, they out of any of your uh foes or opponents, they don't like Devin the most, bro. I'm telling you, but they won't promote it. It's like y'all won't promote the fight. Y'all won't say let's fight. You won't but let me say this though. What I what I mean by promote like just promoting it, bro. Man, if you and Devin was to show up on Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson and do a face off or some shit, or just certain shit, bro, certain shit, meet up. Yeah, like Joe Frazier and Ali, did that why I say we ain't built like that no more. If y'all was to do that shit and then catch that shit on film, you pulling up in a goddamn one of them big ass trucks you got. Uh, yeah, you hopping out, you and Devin meeting face to face. It ain't no, it ain't no, 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 we finna fight in the street. No, just on some straight. Let's make this fight happen, bro. And y'all sit down, bro. That shit, that shit'll go so viral, bro. It's pr just promoting the fight, bro. Promoting the fight. And with Devin and Bill, bro, instead of saying he ducking, he scared, just promote the fight. You can promote it without saying somebody ducking or they scared, bro. Make the fight happen. Tank, y'all never said Ryan was scared, bro. You accepted the fight. You promoted it. It wasn't no he's scared. Leonard Ellaby said, oh, man, Ryan is a soldier for taking this fight. He he want to be great and <laughs> all this shit, bro. You just got a bunch of uh, suckers around you, in my opinion. Tank ain't boring that shit. Man, I heard Lorenzo Truck Simpson in an in in interview. Uh, the way he talk about Tank, he said, man, y'all just ain't seen nothing, bro. The shit I've seen him do in the gym, 
he he ain't showed it, bro. He ain't winning his bag. And like I said, uh, even though I, I I say that about Devin, too, I said, bro, we ain't seen the best of Devin. Just ain't Devin getting better and better. Um, but I don't think we seen the best of Tank either, bro. I think Tank got some shit in that bag, bro. I think he got some shit in that bag, and uh, the Devin fight will bring everything out. And, and I want to make something very clear also. I want the Tank versus Shakur fight, but I just got to be realistic, bro. The Tank versus Shakur, if it happened next, I would love it. I would be hyped. I would love it. But the Tank and Shakur uh, fight has nowhere near the buzz that Devin and Tank it's just, it, that's the fight. Everybody know it. We just try to whistle around that shit, and we just rather cap and hot side. No, Tank and Dip, everybody know that's the fight. They keep talking about They've been talking about each other for five years. It ain't no secret. They don't like each other. They've been going back and forth. Um, That's been the fight for some years now. So, in my opinion, um, it just it just too much heat around it, bro. It's too much heat. Also, Tank did say, um, he told Sean Porter, like, uh, why would I be scared <laughs> of this big nose motherfucker? All he is is a nose. He said so, something about Devin Nose or something. And he said, uh, when I spoiled you, a 147 pounder. That's another thing that's exposed a lot of shit. I watched Tank, Tank uh, and like I said, both fans cap. But in my opinion, because Tank just let it be known. Bro, I don't give a fuck about fighting you at 140. And I don't need a rehydration clock. I, 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 at this point, I think Tank want to prove that, bro, give a fuck about you being bigger than me. Tank was never on that shit. It was Tank fans. It was all kind of fans that, bro, after the Devin and Regis fight, y'all started saying it. That, Tank had never said Devin was too big for me. Y'all started saying it. There's no way the fight will ever happen. Devin is far too big for him. Tank never said it. Y'all started drawing up a contract for him, a rehydrate. He never said it. Fans was ready to cry for him and try to say he shouldn't fight Devin. Devin too big. But y'all was cool with him fighting Tio. <laughs> Man, listen, bro. Um, uh, Tank don't need nobody to cry for him. He don't need nobody to rub his head and, and, and rock him to sleep, bro. Tank has come out and said 140 ain't shit to make. I don't need a rehydration cloud, none of this shit. So that's why I expect the fight to happen at 140. Um, but far as like in Saudi Arabia, if y'all do it, do it. I, I ain't tripping. But um, <laughs> I'm very interested in the numbers. I'm very interested in the in the, in the numbers they're gonna pay uh, Tank and Dale. If because I'm gonna tell you another thing. This this will get Tank excited. This will get Tank in because Devin definitely want to fight in Saudi Arabia. He is a Muslim. Um, and they act like they like him or whatever. But uh, Tank Tank might Tank might really entertain it because he feel like the money good in Saudi Arabia and he feel like that's a worldwide platform or whatever. So he might, you know, it may make him more anxious for the fight. But um, <laughs> we'll see, bro. We'll see. But if, if Tank, it's all, I'm telling you, uh, Tank has the power to, uh, all he got to do is promote the fight. All he got to do is say, that's that's the only fight I want. If Tank, I, even if he tweeted, I'm just telling you, I, was, I, I, I hate to admit it, bro. I'm just telling you the truth. That's the power Tank got, and that's the power of this fight. Fans want to see it so badly, bro. But it's, it all depends on, it don't depend on Devin, bro. It depends on Tank. I'll, if Tank just tweet, Devin Haney is the only fight I want, and I want it next. Fans will go crazy. Fans will go crazy. It'll be a thousand videos. Because every time Tank tweet, if he t if he tweet two words, bro, it's going to be a thousand channels making a thousand videos on one tweet. Two words. That's all Tank. So if he tweet, uh, Devin Haney is the only fight I want, and I want it next, bro. The whole boxing world, but they're going to go crazy, bro. It's going to be on every platform, and everybody going to be talking about Devin Haney versus Tank. This is 903 Boxing. I am the host, Charles Jack. That I'm out.